Yeah, I'm starting to get the feel for this now. I'll need to trim this edge a little bit with the with that guy to get a better fit so I won't have as big a gaps like right here. But I like I like that it goes in a little bit because the bond, I mean the uh, panel bond stuff will will make it stick up a little bit and that'll give me about 30 thousandths of an inch. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Ah, come on. Yeah. Oh, I got all, I got some junk on there. Hold on a sec. Let me take this off. I don't want to put a lot of pressure on it right now. I don't want to put a lot of pressure on it because it hasn't cured that long. Oh, I gotta walk over here and get this side. There we go. Take this off. Yeah. I mean, it just needs to needs to sit overnight. Oh, oh and there's a little lip of uh, stuff that's squeezed out. But yeah, I got glass on the back. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. And I want to do all the body work of the bumper while it's on there. So once it, you know, once I get it on there, I'll be able to you know, make it look right. Now this doesn't line up with that body line, so probably end up. I got to get the chrome bumpers over here. I'll borrow my son's until I buy my own just long enough to line it up. I might make a mold out of the ones he's got and then make fiberglass chrome bumpers that I can just paint black or chrome, silver. Let's see if that's dry, yeah. Let's see if I got any pinholes on this guy. Yeah, if you get this stuff before it gets real dry, it's real easy to see. That turned out good. <laughs> <laughs> 